Good evening. Hi, Blanquita. Hi. All right, yes, I have Blanca. Hi, Gonzalo. Hello. Hi, Judith. Carlos, uh, Jose, uh, Jose Eduardo, me uní los dos nombres. Jose Eduardo, very good. It's Thursday, Judith, okay? Hi, Jose Eduardo. Hi, Edwin. Carlos Antonio, all right. Good evening. Very good. good evening. Nice to see you. Luis Alfonso. Hi, Luis. Hi, teacher. How Hi, are? teacher. Fine, Luis. I'm great. Hi, Dinora. How are you? Fine. Excellent. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Do you mejor, Dinora? You're feeling better? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Very fine. good. Excellent. Very nice. Hi, Luis Manuel and Elmer. Thank you guys for being in class. Super. All right. Very nice to have you all in class. So, guys, uh, today is Thursday y vamos a iniciar haciendo la pregunta del millón. ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas? Judith. So, so, teacher. Yeah. What happened? A ver, quiero un reporte de verdad. Judith, ¿por cuál tarea va? Six, seven, eight. I just have the idea eight. Ah, ok, that's ok. Eight. But I, I don't have to. I don't. Ay, por Dios, me he hecho <laughs> el examen. What? Ah, ok, but that's ok. <laughs> Lo bueno que va avanzando con las tareas, all right? Very good. Blanca, eh, homework? Eight. Eight, excellent, Blanca. Very good. Gonzalo? Al día. Excellent, up to date. Very good. José Eduardo, no quiero malas noticias. Ajá. <laughs> Teacher. Eh, <laughs> fíjese que... Para mañana la voy a... No ha hecho ninguna, ya. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. No, no sí. ahorita no, dicho. Es que José no me... Eduardo, hoy sí lo con my sí, oye. All right, al día entonces, oye. Más que acuérdese yes. que tenemos el examen de medio curso. Sí, ¿Ah? sí, dicho. Ok. Huh. A ver, Edwin, how are you doing with homework? I go to... To the day. Excellent. Up to date. Very nice. Thank you, Carlos Antonio Escobar. <laughs> up to date. Excellent. Up to date. Luis Alfonso Martinez. Homework. All homework. Teacher. Finished? Hey. What number? Okay. Tendría que al menos ir en la ocho porque el ocho fue ayer. <laughs> very good, Luis. Super. Very good. Dinora, what about you? Hey. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Carlos Alfredo. Hi, Carlos. Hi. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. Okay. Very good. Carlos, how are you with the homework right now? Up to date? Are you like okay with the homework? Uh, uh, I only don't finish the yesterday and okay. today. All right, perfect, very good. Galileo, oh my goodness. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm Galileo. Sorry. I am late. That's okay. I'm sorry. Ya le voy a mandar el maicillo. No se preocupe, de forma virtual. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we missed you yesterday, Galileo. A ver, Galileo, cómo vamos con las tareas. Uh, I missed the last night, just only. Okay, all right, perfect, very good. Hi. Okay, thank you, all right, very good. Norma, what about you, Norma? Uh, homework? Yes, teacher. Finish. I, oh, number I eight. Finish. Oh, okay, all right, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, thank you, Norma, very nice. Um, Karina, what about you, Karina? ¿Cómo va con la tarea? O la, las tareas de la plataforma. Sí. Eh, ahorita muy bien. Excelente. Todo bien. Right. Very good. Karina, very good. What about Luis Manuel? How are you doing with the uh, homework? Uh, 
Yo creo que bien, teacher. El, el examen de medio tiempo, este, ¿cuándo lo tenemos que hacer? Para ese, ese fin de es bueno, para allá mañana y sábado. Ah, ah ok. Es All que right. yo, creo, yo creo que sí, lo, o sea, como lo hice del celular, creo ah, que okay. me pasé de, de una vez. Ah, pero so lo hice inconscientemente, ajá. Ah, ok. <laughs> sí. All right, ok, very good, Luis. Yeah. Thank you, Luis Manuel. I, I, and did, and, uh -huh. I did the middle the test. Wow, Galileo, super. You're a very good student. All right, thank very you. good. Thank you. Elmer, what about you? ¿Cómo vamos con la tarea, Elmer? Complete teacher. Excellent, Elmer, super. All right. Okay, guys, hoy sí puedo tomar la asistencia. Very good. <laughs> Let's see, Alex Humberto Saldaña. No Alex today. All right. Eh, Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Present. Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Hold on. Edwin. Present. Balmore Flores y Gómez. Thank you. <laughs> El, <laughs> Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gómez. All right. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. All right, very good. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Okay. Uh, Luis Alfonso Martinez Pérez. Thank you. Uh, Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. I am here, teacher. Norma Lizette Quintana Mancía. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. William Mauricio Gonzalez Garcia. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz Garcia. And Ana Karin Solis. Yes, thank you, Karina. Very good. Thank you. All right. Mm. Okay. I'm here, Jessica. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, Eli, ya, ya la vi. Thank you. Yes, Francisca Elizabeth. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. A ver, Eli, ¿cómo va usted con sus tareas? Eli, ¿vamos al día? ¿Qué está tomando, Elizabeth? No, tengo, no, no tome gaseosa que estaba enferma. Ah, ok. No, eh. <laughs> ah, ok. All right. All right. Very good. Siete creo que hice, siete o ocho hice el día que las hice de, de un solo. Excelente, Eli, super, thank you. All right, Eli, very good, thank you for that. Okay, so yesterday, guys, eh, contémosle a Galileo, Dinora, what we studied yesterday, porque ya Galileo didn't come to class. Ajá, Galileo. Dinora, what did we study yesterday? We studied uh, have to and need to. Have to and need to. Perfect. Okay. A ver, Luis Alfonso, what do you remember about have to and need to? I remember you have to is an order. Okay. It's an obligation. It's an obligation, yes. Uh huh. I need to. I need to. I need. <laughs> It's a need, yes, very good, Luis, super, very good, very good, guys, okay? So yesterday, Galileo, we were studying have to and need to, okay? When you say have to, it's because you are, in a, in a way, it's an obligation. So you say, for example, I have to be in class, it's an obligation, okay? I need to study more, it's a necessity, okay? So the difference between have to, I need to is the meaning, all right? Have to is an obligation. Need to is a necessity. Now, you can say... Okay. Yes. Obligation. Excuse me? Eh, 
Have to is an obligation yes. and need to is, me digo? A necessity. Okay. I got it. Yeah. All right. So, um, and, and, and Carlitos tampoco estuvo ayer con nosotros. A ver, Carlitos, también podemos decir, por ejemplo, yo digo, I have to, I have to teach four classes. All right. I have to teach it. But if I say, Carlos Antonio has to pay attention. All right. So, when I, because this is, uh, remember that this is simple present, I mean, this is simple present, and if I say Carlos Antonio, is a he, all right? So I say he has to uh, pay attention, or he has to go to work, okay? I say we have to, for I, you, we, they is have to, for he, she, it is has to. Excuse me, guys, hold on. All right, very good. Algún día terminarán de pasar. Okay. So have to and has to, okay? But we also have negative. Like, is oh my goodness, the boy. All right, it's not really, uh, it's, all right, okay? It's not really uh, a negative. Lo que hace es que expresa que no hay una obligación. For example, I say, you don't have to, um, I don't know, you don't have to go to um, to school on Saturday. You don't have to. There's no obligation for you to go on Saturday. You don't have to. Okay? If we talk about he, she, it, we say doesn't. She doesn't have to. All right? Y regresa su forma original o su forma base because we're talking about doesn't. She doesn't have to work. She doesn't have to do the dishes. She doesn't have to go to the hospital, all right? The same thing happens with need. I said, I need to study. Edwin Valmore needs to study, okay? Because it's third person singular. He needs to study. You don't need to study it. No, you do, but <laughs> not in a bad way, all right? So he needs to. Also, we can uh, say he doesn't need to uh, study because he understands everything. He's very intelligent, all right? He doesn't need to study. <laughs> Good evening, William. Nice to see you. And Alex, hello. And Beatriz, hello. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Solo los, los um, cambio el estado de la asistencia. Very good. Okay. So we say, does it need to or need to? I'm going to show you. This is the presentation we used yesterday. Okay. So here we have, and this is how we began. Have to, don't have to. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, we say that we use have to to express an obligation. All right. So have to to express an obligation. All right. So here we have, the boys have to study, the boys has to wake up, all right? Because it's singular. Here, just to remember, have to. I, you, we, they, have to. He, she, it, has to, all right? And then here, for negative, we say we don't have to, okay? And we, we see it here, just give me a second here. We say, I, you, we, they, don't, and he, she, it, doesn't, have to, okay? If I ask you a question, for example, I say, Luis Alfonso, do you have to go to a meeting? All right, do you have to go to a meeting? That's a question. I'm asking you, do you have to go to the meeting? And maybe Luis Alfonso says, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Okay? Esa sería una forma de contestar. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Or, wait, guys. Or you can also say, I have to. Yes, I have to. Or no, I don't have to. All right? Pero tiene que contestar tal cual have to. No puede quedarse en yes, I have. No. 
porque esa es una respuesta corta para otro tiempo verbal que no hemos visto todavía, que es presente perfecto. All right, entonces, si la va a contestar así, me va a tener que decir, yes, I have to. Yo le digo, Luis, do you have to go to a meeting? And he says, yes, I have to. O no, I don't have to. Pero el tú tiene que estar ahí. Si no, then you can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Y se queda hasta ahí. Okay, you understand? Okay, guys? Yes. 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 Question, when we, when we are talking about uh, Basin uh, is have to or uh, need to? Vacunas. Vaccine. For example, vaccine. vaccine. Uh -huh. Is a have to or a, a have to or need to? De depends, Manuel. Ahí va a depender del contexto en el que lo esté usando. Si de su trabajo lo están obligando. You say, I have to, I have to take the vaccine. But mm -hmm. en el caso que usted la necesite, usted dice, I need to get the vaccine. Oh, right? Okay. So it depends on what you want to say. Usted dice, I have to work, or usted dice, I need to work. Mm -hmm. Usted se quedó sin empleo por decir algo, usted dice, I need to work. All right? I have to go. So it depends on what you want to say, Luis Manuel. All okay. right. Okay. Very good. Either or, it's okay, but depends on the idea. If your idea is an obligation, you use have to. If your idea is a necessity, you use need to. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, teacher. No, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's continue here, guys. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, about uh, answer. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, when we answer. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. It's a short answer. Yes. But we can use, yes, I do have to. No. You cannot combine it. Eh, eh, Galileo, when, for example, you say, Jessica, do you have to, do you have to teach tomorrow? Yo le digo, yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or I can say, yes, I have to. Ah, okay, it's with, one without, answer for the other okay, one, but not a combination, Galileo. Yes, without okay. uh, without uh, Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. All right. Or yes, I Galileo, I can say yes, I have to teach tomorrow, and that's a long answer, Galileo. Long answer. So I have three choices. Okay. Yeah. Very short. Yes, I do. Medium size answer. I can say yes, I have to. Long answer, I say, yes, I have to work tomorrow or I have to teach tomorrow or whatever the action is, Galileo. But just only in the short uh, answer, uh, how the auxiliar. Yes. In, in the middle and the long answers, you don't. Don't, don't use. No, you auxiliar. don't use auxiliary, no. Excellent, very good. Excellent, thank you. thank you. No, thank you. Ok, guys, do you understand? El tipo de, de cómo contestar es importante. ¿Entendemos cómo podemos contestar? Yes, you understand or no, you don't understand. Vuelvo a explicar. Teacher, no problema. One, yes. one, one more. more. Yes, tell me, Galileo. In the, in the verb middle, uh -huh. uh, it's the same rule we, we saw in the last yeah. class. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, he cheat meal, I you with a meal. Right. Need to, need to. Ah, on the answer. Ah, uh -huh. in the answer. In the answer, for example, you say, I ask you, do you need to go to Sulutan? You say, yes, I do. Yes, I need to. Yes, I need to go to Sulutan. Three answers. The same thing with have to. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Galileo. Very good. Do you guys understand the way to answer? Yep. Yeah, everybody understands how to answer these questions. Yes, I do. Excellent, Eli. Very good. Okay, let's see. Um, Carlos, do you have any question, Carlos? Antonio? Oh, Carlos Alfredo, no? Are you there? <laughs> yeah, I have two, Carlos. All right, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay. William, you're the chosen one this evening, William. William, a ver, 
Me va a contestar de las tres formas, William. ¿Ok? Hablamos de short answer, medium answer, long answer. ¿Ok? Yeah. Okay. All right, ready. William, do you have to go to the supermarket tomorrow? I don't know, teacher. I don't, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Wait, 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 wait. No se me adelante. Ahorita necesito todas las <ríe> respuestas <ríe> en afirmativo. Después vemos las negativas. Que digamos que sí tiene que. Do you have yes, to I do. The... Ok, yes, I do. Number two. Uh, yes, I do. I, I go to supermarket. No, 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 William. <ríe> yes, I do, Zuna. I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, highly. Ayúdele a, 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 a William. Estaba entendido. Yes. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to. Very good. Está entendido, Elia. Yes, I have to, to go to supermarket. Excellent. Okay, so the three answers are yes, I do. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to go to the supermarket. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Ahorita only affirmative sentences. Okay. Alex. Ready, Alex? Go ahead. All right, Alex. A ver, Alex, do you have to work with Luis Alfonso? <laughs> do you have to work with Lisa, Luis Alfonso? Only Any, affirmative. Affirmative, Alex. Anyway, yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, yes, you do. Okay, yes, I do. Number two. Yes, I have to. Yes, very good, Alex. And number three? Uh, yes, I have to uh, go to work with Luis. Excellent, very good. Excellent, Alex. Nice, thank you. Very good. Edwin Valmore. Ready, Edwin? No. Yes, you're ready. Of course you're ready. Okay, Edwin, do you have to come to San Salvador this weekend? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, yes, I have to. Okay. Yes, I have to. And? Um, <laughs> no remember. Yeah, como no se puede. A ver, la larga, la larga. Uh -huh. Yes, I have to. Um, Come to San Salvador. <laughs> Come to San Salvador. Very good. Yay, very nice. Excellent. Blanca. Jessica. Yes, Eli. Uh, what is the have to have to San Salvador? Excuse me? What is come to San Salvador? Ah, come, come to San Salvador. Edwin doesn't live in San Salvador. All right. So I say uh-huh. Uh -huh. So he lives in another departamento, right? Edwin, where do you live, Edwin? I live in San Miguel. Okay, very good. So uh, Edwin lives in San Miguel, so I asked him, do you have to come to San Salvador, travel to San Salvador? Okay? Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. very good. Thank you, Eli. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Blanca. No se me olvidó, Blanca. Usted cree yo que se me va a olvidar. A ver, Blanquita. Do you have to... Do you have to finish... The test. Yes, I do. Uh -huh, very good. Yes. Yes, has to. Yes, I have to. Uh huh. Yes, has. Yes, has to finish the test. Excellent. <laughs> yes, Blanca. Very good. Super. Very good. Thank you. All right. Sorry, guys. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so three answers. Okay, nos quedan claras las respuestas, veo que sí. Very good. Excellent. Okay, what happens if it's negative? For example, Carlos Alfredo, do you have to? Do you? Do you have to? I'm sorry. Cuando se terminan esos camiones, Dios mío. All right. Do you have to? Um, estoy perdido. Do you have to um, do you have to go to Santa Ana this weekend? In negative, a Carlitos. Uh, okay. 
Uh, no, I have, uh, I don't have to. Okay, listen to him. No, I don't have to. Okay, another one, Carlos? No, I don't have to go to Santa Ana this weekend. Okay, y la más cortita? No, I don't. Excellent, all right. So, no, I don't. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to go to Santa Ana this weekend. Okay, yes, very good. Let's see. Um, Carlito, ya le pregunté a Carlos Antonio. Pregúnteme. Excellent, very nice. That's the attitude, all right? Um, Carlos Antonio, do you have to cook tonight? In negative, Carlos. <laughs> eh, no, no hay... No hay... No hay... No. Espérame, Carlitos, Carlitos, no, Carlitos. ¿Qué pasó? No hay, concéntrese, concéntrese. Ajá. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes. Ajá. No, I... I no, I don't have. A ver, Carlitos, es la internet. A ver, otra vez. No, no. Uh -huh. No, I have. Uh -uh. No. Necesita el auxiliar. Ajá. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Very good. Number two. No, I don't. Uh, have to. Ajá. No, I don't have to. Very good. No, I don't have to. And the last one, no. Carlos, is the long answer. No, I don't have to cook in the night. At, the, at night or in the night, at Carlos night. Antonio, le voy a mandar el maicillo. All right, <laughs> at night. All right, no, in at the night. night. Very good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, all right, I think we understand, okay? So, we have That's three. I have, I have a question. In yes, negative, in negative uh, we can combine, don't have. Yeah, because it's negative there, and you uh -huh. need the auxiliary, uh-huh. But in positive, no. No, in positive, you don't, because it's a positive okay. answer, and in positive answers, you don't use auxiliaries. Mm -hmm. okay. But in negative, you have to, because that's the rule, right? You need to use uh -huh. the auxiliary in order to make it negative. Okay. Okay, yeah, very good, Bea, thank you. Bea, you're driving? Yes. <laughs> Okay, very good. Be safe, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Thank you, Bea. Okay. Oops, let's see here. All right. Let me just show you something here. Lo mismo va a suceder with need to, ¿verdad? With need to, hablamos de lo mismo, de las mismas formas de practicar. We, we finished this yesterday, yes. Let me see, need to. Aquí empezamos con el need to. Creo que nos quedamos por aquí, ¿verdad? A ver, espérame, espérame. Ya, yeah, Winnipeg, me acuerdo de Winnipeg y de Winnie Pooh. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Did we see this? No, right? Teacher. Sure. Yes. I have a question. I'm sorry. No, no, Galileo, Please. tell me. With uh, negative answer uh -huh. in the verb have. Yes. In, in negative, three answer, two neither and no answer. Uh, have the auxiliar. Yeah, that's what Beita was asking me. Yes, Galileo. Uh -huh. Yes, I don't. Yes, I don't have to. Yes, I don't. Yes, Galileo, I don't ¿qué le pasa? No, Galileo, como not... que yes, I don't. Eh, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't... <laughs> Galileo, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't... Está en oscuras y porque está en oscuras, Galileo, what happened to you? <laughs> my, little, my little boy needs Sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Este, I don't. I don't have to. Uh -huh. I don't have to go to set it. Uh -huh. In the three answer, exists uh, the auxiliary. Yes. Oh. Yes, Galileo. Oh, because yeah. it's the positive to affirmative. Yes, it is. But it is, Galileo, what I, this is what I was telling Bea, all right? It, we need the auxiliary because it's part of the negative. Okay, there's no hay otra forma de hacer un negativo, all right? Yeah. So that's why we need to use the auxiliary in, in, the, th in the, like the three answers. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to go. All right? Thank you, I got it's it. It's part of it, yeah, very good, okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. Perfect. All right. A ver, solo déjeme cerrar uh, microphone here. Hold on, guys. Okay. All right. I think everybody can be muted now. All right. So here we have. We have don't need to, not necessary, but possible. All right. So use the negative form of need to to express that something isn't necessary but possible. At times, English speakers use don't need to to express that they don't they don't expect someone to do something. All right. Now, how do we make it? You say subject. Subject plus do not, plus need to, plus verb, plus complement. Uh, for doesn't or for he, she, it, we have subject plus does not, plus need to, plus verb, plus complement. Okay? Because we have does, we don't need anything else here, guys. Nothing. We don't need anything else. It's the same thing for everything. Okay? So I say, I don't need to study. Carlos Antonio doesn't need to go. Galileo doesn't need to speak to you. Uh, Bea doesn't need to drive right now. Um, Ellie doesn't need to um, practice. Okay, doesn't need to. No S here because you have does not, okay? Examples, you don't need to come to the meeting next week. Pero puede ser que llegue, but that's okay, all right? So it's like, maybe it will happen. Claudia doesn't need to study. She's a great student, pero quien quita y puede que estudie, all right? I don't need to work next Monday, but if I want to, I can go. Charlie doesn't need to worry about money because he's a millionaire, all right? So these are like some of the examples that we have here, okay? Okay, let me see here. Sorry, sorry guys. Okay, veamos. Let's take a picture, hold on. Yeah, let's take a picture of this. Finish? Okay, let's take a picture of this. Okay. One second. Okay. Finished? Yeah. Okay. What are we yeah. going to do here, guys? Hold on. Okay, this one, this one, the first picture, ahorita solo vamos a tomar dos. The first picture is have to, has to, don't have to, doesn't have to, okay? And picture number two is need to, don't need to, needs to, or doesn't need to, okay? You understand? Yes, guys, you understand, yeah? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's go to the groups. Okay. Okay. There we go, guys. Let's go now. Dinora, Gonzalo, Eli.
Karina, ¿se puede unir a su grupo? Dinora. Ay, Gonzalo. Karina, can you hear me? He said today is a is a holiday. I have to I have to go to work. I have to. Yo ya. Sí, así es. No, no, no. Ahí es negativo. Porque vamos a ocupar have to affirmary, have to negative. Because the, because the question is today is a holiday. I need, I need, uh, uh, don't have to. I need, I, I don't have to go to work. ¿Por qué va a ser negativa? Porque es holiday. Pero sí son días festivos. Ajá. Que si hoy es un día festivo, le pregunta. Ajá, correcto. Today is a holiday. Ok. Yo pienso que es negativa porque como el día es festivo no vas a trabajar. Ah, sí. ¿Va? Sí, tienes razón. Entonces sería ah. I don't. Uh, I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to go to work. La número dos sería have to, sería positiva. ¿va? Eh, la número dos. Your sister. Ah, yes. Eh, your sister have to. Have to go to school today. Y en el espacio primero. Que tendría que hacer. No necessarily to. complete the. El espacio pero, primero. Pero has to va antes del, del sujeto, no. No, primero va el, el sujeto. El sujeto, que sería you, he, she. Entonces sería. Sí, no, pero ahí dice la, la número uno. Es okay. Sí, sí, sí. En el la caso segunda. de la afirmativa, este, solo la respuesta corta lleva el auxiliar. En el caso uh -huh. de la negativa, todas, todas las respuestas, las tres, lleva el auxiliar. Entonces, esta es negativa. Dice, they don't have to drive so fast. Uh -huh. En la segunda, no solo, en, sí, es, así es, así es. En la okay. segunda, que es, posi es positiva, eh, solo sería, positiva, ahí you, sí, es, you eh, have to wait for me. Ser. Tenemos la opción de, de, de colocar cualquiera de las tres respuestas, la corta, la media o la larga. No capté No, 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 porque no, 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 no. Es la, solo la de have to. Acordate que la, la primerita era de cuando te preguntan do you. 
y no, no es así ahorita. Efectiva. Ajá. Ah. Solo es, you have to wait for me. Ok. Ya, ya entiendo, esto no es una... Ok, una... Y, 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 y en la tercera persona, en he, she, en it, y la, la tercera lo es, es she, sí. es has to. Okay. Ah, solo que es negativa. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... Have, es positiva. Doesn't. You have to wait for me. Doesn't. Have to. Has to. ¿En cuál estás? ¿En la tercera? En la tercera. Ah, porque sí. es negativa. Sí. Sería doesn't. doesn't. Sí, creo que es doesn't. Es negativa. She does. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have, doesn't, has to, doesn't has to, have, have to take a taxi. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Have Cuando es tercera persona cambia a has to. A taxi. Yes, yes. Uh, she doesn't, pero como es negativa, lleva el auxiliar. Si lleva el auxiliar, el verbo mm. se mantiene have. Es cierto. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to take a taxi. Esperame un segundo que la dona la noté. En positiva. You have to wait for me. You have to wait for me. Ok, la cuarta, ¿verdad? La cuarta. La cuarta. Her children es negativa. Es negativa. Her children don't have to go to school today. ¿Verdad? Don't. Ellos. Ajá. Ah, entonces don't, don't, don't have to. Don't have to go to school children today. Don't have to go to school today. And the we is positive. Ok, en el siguiente es el positivo. Ajá, uh -huh. ahí solo has to. We, we have to understand the class before the test. Mm -hmm. We es, puede decir que es una obligación. You, ajá, uh -huh. you negative. Tenemos que, we have to understand. You también, have class. to. Sí, yo lo estoy anotando todo. Porque... Ay, hijo de la madre es negativo, siempre la riego yo, hombre. Or. Es. Ok, la otra es, es negativa. You don't, don't have to, uh, have to come if you don't want to. No mm -hmm. tienes que venir si no quieres. You don't have to. Uh, you Ok, la, la otra es la última. My father is negative. My father doesn't have to. Ah, uh, doesn't. Yeah. My father doesn't, doesn't have to. Doesn't, see, sí, doesn't. Have to have to mm -hmm. talk. Okay. Esas son todas. Vemos la otra. Vemos la otra. ¿Estás de acuerdo, verdad? Con esta última. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, así era. La última. Doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Esto lo voy a recortar un poco para que sea un poco más grande. Ok, esta es NID. Sí, exacto. Esto dijo que era NID. NID 2. Ana has to see a doctor. A doctor. Because she isn't feeling well. Así es, ahí sería. It has to. 
has, see, to, has, to, has to see a doctor. Has to a doctor, okay. Luis, Number... Olga, and Ellie, are you working on exercise one or exercise two? One. One? Uh, exercise one. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Because exercise two, everything is need to or don't need to or doesn't yes. need to. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> All right. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. I. I don't have ah. to. Porque no. se, está, se está disculpando que no pudo contestar. I have, no, I have no answered my no phone. Está bien. Yo voy a pedir que solo con usted me, me, me pongan. Ay, ah. ay, ay. <risa> Luisito, Luisito. Teacher, es que ellas son mis dos compañeras del, 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 del título pasado, me. entonces ya ah. no conozco. <risa> Excuse me, I don't... No, I don't I, have to answer the phone. No, I don't have... My phone. I don't have to answer... I don't have to answer my phone. Answer yes. my phone, okay. Number nine. Is you live so? How do you? How do you? Ah, uh, I'm afraid. Es que la teacher, la teacher ahí nos pone dos fal, do, dos preguntas. ¿A dónde Luisito? Ahí nos pone the number nine. I don't understand number nine. The number. Have to you? Te, tienes tú que irte pronto. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, pero eso está fácil. <risa> have to you. Have to you. Empezamos una Going. pregunta, Eli. La voy, a, la voy a mandar al maestro también, Eli. Do, con do. Ok, so do you. Do you live soon? ¿Y el have to qué pasó, Luisito? Do have to. Do... No, el number, no, o sea, have, have to you. Sí. Entonces en ese gran you. espacio solo lleva you. <risa> y, y no, no porque si es está. To you. Help to you. you, you, you? To. Help to you. Do Por eso you. solo es. So, entonces la, solo es. Do you have have to. Sí. Do you. Do you ah, pues en la, have en la segunda to. nos hemos equivocado, don Luis. Ya ve, ya ve. <laughs> what happened, Ellie? ¿Qué pasó? Uh -huh. Sí, do en, en la segunda. Entonces have... es. Das. Ah, en la segunda es Das Your Sister. Excelente, Ellie. Uh -huh. Sí, Das Your Sister. That's right. Ya entendí. I understand. Excellent, Luis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number number ten. <laughs> my friend. My friend has take. No. Has to take. Excellent. Has to take. Yeah. Has, to. Very good. Has, has to take. Has to take. Has Very good. Has to. Mm -hmm. My friend has to take. ¿En yeah. cuál se equivocó Eli en la dos? Sí, en la dos, porque, porque es das, ah, das your sister. sister. Uh -huh. Perdón. Has to, you... My friend has, has to take. No, perdón, la number, número dos. Your sí. sister. Sí, y es das your sister. Sí, es das your, your sister. Have. Das your sister. Ajá. Has to. Has to. Has your sister has to go to school today. No sé si fue la inter o escuché mal. 
Yo creo que se nos está yendo la señal. Ajá, sí, quizás. <risa> bueno, a mí me estaba fallando antes de entrar, así que yo puedo comenzar de ingresar. Yo, yo no en, la, en la, en en la, la dos. En la segunda. Ajá. Do you sister? No. Ah, es una pregunta. Do, da, 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 atrás do, está bien, Luis, porque acuérdense que estamos hablando de sister, no de usted, es de su hermana. Das, das. Does that sister has, has, has that your sister has to. No es así. Does your sister has to go? Has to, no, Eli. Have to. Acuérdese que si ya tiene el auxiliar. Es cierto, es cierto, es cierto. Ay, sí, es have, porque ya tiene does. Es does have. Does your sister have to. Excellent, yes. That your sister have to, have to go to a school today. Se me fue el wifi. Ya estoy ya. Hoy vamos a hablar número dos. My mother. Sí, ahí, my mother. Has, has to. Sí, pero my mother está bien. My mother has, has to, to go. Sí. Hay. La, la cuarta también. I, sí. I, too. I have two students. Sí. Number five, uh -huh. today, have to. Le today have to. Sí, have Get up to. early have every day morning. Yes, they, they, do, they, they do, puede ser. Yes, they, they do. do. Solo, yes, 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 yes. Just yes, do. They do. Yes, they do. Just, uh, yes, they do. Uh -huh. Yes, they do. Okay. Okay. Patrick has to drive. Have to drive. Have to. Has to. He can take a bus. He can take a bus. He puede tomar un bus. Okay. And. And. As to. And has to see. Has to see. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number five, excuse me. Excuse me, I don't have two. I have done two. I I don't have two. Answer yes. my phone. Yes. Okay. Number nine. Do you do you have to? Have to live soon. Mm -hmm. Number 10, my friend, have to take a driving this this the afternoon. Okay, ya nos acabamos 10. Excellent, Luis, of course. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hoy vamos a, Number, a, la, okay, a, vamos la, a la segunda. Mm -hmm. Gracias, Eli, porque me compartió esa que no la tenía. Ah, la otra ¿No? sí ya, ya la, la tiene. Otra, la otra sí ya la tengo. Sí, gracias. Ah, vale. Este. Ahí es donde vamos a poner. Eh... Need to. El, 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 need, need, need to. El need to o. o... Yes. Need to o needs to o don't need to and doesn't need to. La primera Vaya, es. Ahí de... como es negativo. Don't need to. Don't need to dry out so fast. Fabs. They don't need you. Mm -hmm. They don't. If. Right fast. You need. Need to. You need. Don't need to. You need. Um, Eli, Don Luis, and Olga. Mm -hmm. Yes. Creo que tomaron el orden equivocado de las fotos. Oh, teacher. <laughs> Por eso cuando yo entré les dije ya están en la dos. Ah, o sea que esta es la uno. Esta era la uno. Pero no importa. O sea, no importa. Como le decía a Luis Manuel temprano. El contexto va a variar, depende de lo que usted quiere decir. 
si se fijan, no hace como mayor cambio. Lo que pasa es que mi idea cambia, pero el uso es como igual, ¿verdad? Entonces, en la, la que acaban de hacer era need to, y don't need to. En esta que está aquí es el have to, y don't have to. Ah, entonces ah. nosotros ya hicimos la, la primera. Pero sí, podemos pero aplicar la segunda aquí. Sí, sí, pero que cuando las corrijamos, ustedes van a tener todo cruzado. Sí. No, mejor no voy a preguntar a nosotros. <risa> pero no importa. O sea, tranquilo, porque yo estuve ya con ustedes y ya, o sea, aplicaron bien las reglas y todo. Eso es lo importante, las reglas okay. que vayan bien aplicadas, ¿verdad? It's okay, Eli. <risa> That's funny. You guys are special. <laughs> pues seguimos con need to. Sí, sí. sí sigan con need to para practicar need to y don't need to. El, el need to y don't need to. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok, yeah. entonces, bye. Did they don't, don't need you? Did, ay, perdón. <laughs> Me pasé. <laughs> Estoy el, necesitando need, algo más. I don't need to. You need to wipe. For me. Why for me? Ahí está la teacher, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Finish. Teacher, ayúdenos. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué ah, pasó? Sí. <risa> eh, <Ahí viene. risa> este, Aquí tenemos que usar. Quería saber a ver si como... estamos bien ahí, teacher, con, eh, con la red. Tenemos que usar pues, el... el uh, I, I need... I, I uh -huh. need... El how to, how to, don't. A ver, en Eso esta foto, usar, esta ¿verdad? es la, la segunda foto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, en esta segunda ¿Sí? foto todo tiene que ser con need to, don't need to, needs to y doesn't need to. Ok. Nice. No es do, ¿verdad? Ajá, no entonces, have por, to. No, no, en la primera no foto era have to, y don't have to, y has to, y todo eso. En la segunda ah. foto, que es esta, y vamos a ocupar need to, don't need to, needs to, y doesn't need to. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces, en la primera me... me eh, Puedes, ay, perdón, que se me, me, me dolió, me golpeé. Today is a holiday. I don't need to work. Okay. Yeah. No necesito ya ir a trabajar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, eso está bien, aquí sí. Excellent, very good. ¿Cómo nos quedaría number two? Eh, sería... Do, do you sister? No, ¿cuántas hermanas hay ahí, no. Alex? Need to go to school. Sí, eso una. sí, pero eh, ¿cuántas sister hermanas hay? Doesn't, una. Doesn't. Does your sister. Does, does, does your, your sister, sister need to. Need you. Need you. Does. Uh -huh. Need does, to. Does, does, does. Ajá, does. Es yes. does. Ajá. Por poquito. Sí, por poquito. <laughs> La tres, my mother need to go to the today te, ¿qué? post office. New. My mother needs Now. to, ¿verdad? Need to, ajá, uh -huh. need to. Con ese, need. con ese Alex, needs to. Needs. Needs to. Ah, eso me estaba acordando, ¿dónde le agrego la S? Y es ese, o sea, my aquí cambia, needs, 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 okay. needs, needs to. Ya. Yeah. Y en la, en la dos también, eh, pero en la, en, la, en, la, en la dos no, ¿verdad, Ticha? Y no se agrega ese. No, porque lleva das. No, pero... Ajá, porque lleva das. Uh -huh. uh... Number four eh, sería Gonzalo, ayúdenos. Está dormido, Gonzalo. No, 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 no. <risa> Todavía no, ya casi sí, a las diez. <risa> I, I don't know. Cuatro. I need to study. Necesito estudiar para el test de mañana. 
Uh -huh. Pero eso es falso. Necesito estudiar para aprender inglés porque no sé nada. Sí sabe, Gonzalo, sí sabe. A little bit. Es el que más puede, va, teacher. Of course. No, ahí está Galileo y hay otra muchacha que sí sabe. Todos podemos, don, don Gonzalo. Sí, sí lo intentamos. Claro. Ok. Ok, entonces... I need to study for the grammar test tomorrow. Ok. Ah, oh, yes. Las cinco. Así es. Do they? A donde? Ellos, yes, ellos yeah. need to. No. Necesitan es... levantarse de temprano toda la mañana. Doesn't. Doesn't. No. Do they? Do they need to? Este es para ellos. Este es plural. Get up early every morning. Gonzalo. What? Tell me. La number five, Gonzalo. ¿Cuál es el que le vamos a poner ahí? Vamos a ir regresando por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿ok? Pero igual lo vamos okay. a revisar ahí en el grupo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ellie, did you finish? <laughs> yeah, you finished it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So, I mean, <laughs> that's okay, Ellie. Very good. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys. Let's check right now everything. Okay. So. Hola, teacher. Hola, 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 Ani. Perdón por conectarme tarde en sala, entré solo. Con no William, se preocupe, sí, yo, yo la envié a la sala, sí, gracias por estar con nosotros, Ani, thank you. All right, ok, guys, so, veamos. La primera, esta de aquí era la primera picture, ok. Ahora, con esta la idea era hacer oraciones con have to, oops, ha, uy, have to, has to, al revés, hicimos todo, teacher. <risa> no fueron los únicos. <risa> ah, pues, ah, pues podemos comparar con ellos. <risa> yes, of course. A ver. No eh, fuimos los únicos. Okay. Sí, no, no, no fueron. A ver. Ok. La idea original era que en esta picture you had to do have to, don't have to, has to, y doesn't have to. Ok. Ahora, por confusiones de fotos, se cruzó información, no hay problema. Lo que voy a hacer es que la voy a poner con ambas opciones, ¿ok? Solo vamos a tener como la paciencia aquí, pero no se preocupe. A ver, la primera sería, originalmente mi idea era que era have to, ¿verdad? Y dice negative, entonces diríamos they don't have to. They don't have to, porque es they, all right? Si usted lo escribió con need to, Oops, they don't need, need to. to. Ok, usted vaya revisando ahí, ok. Yes. All right, very good. Number two, con el you, dice positive, ok. You have you to. Have, you have to. Or you need to, en need caso to. que lo hizo con need to, ok. <laughs> <All right. laughs> eh, with she. Decía negreba y no vi, no vi. Ajá, negreba. Negreba. She doesn't, she doesn't has to. Have to. Uy, ah. cuidado con el has to. Ah, sí, teacher, sí. Ajá, all right. Es que es la conexión. de Ajá, se va al inter muy seguido. You said. <laughs> doesn't need, need to. to. Ok. Como sea, la idea es que lo haya escrito así. All right. Y eso es lo que decíamos con Luis Manuel antes de irnos a los grupos. Depende ahí lo que usted quiera decir. La idea, si su idea es obligation, ocupa el have to. Si su idea, o el don't have to en su defecto. Si su idea es necessity, ocupa el need to. Por eso no es que cambie tanto. La regla es la regla. All right. Her children. ¿Qué sería? Her children. Have to. Dicen que da. Ah, no, ¿cuántos niños hay ahí? 
Uno. Yo. Ah, ellos. Varios. Ay, varios. Varios. All right. Children, right. varios. Or don't. Need to. Okay. I have a question, Jessica. Yes, Eli, tell me. Mm, en, bueno, yo así pensaba también, don't, don't have to. Pero me dicen que se habla de, como ahí dice, her children. Sí. Entonces es, dasen. No. No, porque son niños. Porque estamos hablando, acuérdese que cuando hay oraciones ¿Sí? como your, her, his, ese es un adjetivo posesivo. Reviso que posee, en este caso, ella. Ella posee niños o niñas o hijos e hijas. Entonces, me guío por children. Me guío por children, no me guío por her. Si aquí ah. dijera child, entonces sí. Her child. Ahí fuera. No. El... Ok, pero en este caso me rijo por children. Sí, teacher, pero teacher. Dígame. Friends. Hola, teacher, pero ahí está hablando de los de los niños de ella, no, no está hablando directamente de los niños. Pero, pero habla de. Pero habla de niños. Niños. Sí, sí, pero eh, her es una, children. Es una palabra. Sí, pero son, 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 son sus niños, pero siguen siendo los niños. Es lo, que, es lo que la teacher dice, la regla no aplica para el adjetivo positivo. <ríe> sino para el sujeto. Para lo que posee, y en este caso ella posee varios niños, tres niños, cuatro, cinco, bien, veinte mil, no sé cuánto. All right, es como, eh, ya vamos a ver la otra, Luisito, bueno, cuando bueno. decimos, that's your sister. Ok, teacher, no hay problema. All right, ok, entonces, ¿cuántas hermanas, de, cuántas hermanas estamos hablando? De una. Your, that's your sister. All right, pero se digo, that's your, I mean, do your sisters. Me guío por el plural o el singular de lo que esa persona posee. All right. ¿De cuántas hermanas estamos hablando en ese momento? ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso vemos que children, automáticamente sabemos que children es plural. Porque el, el singular de children es child. Así All es. Right. Teacher, all right. Ok, very good. But that's a very good question. That's ok. We, decía Foster, ¿verdad? Guys, we, we, yes. we, we yes, possibly. Yes. Have to. Have to. Have to. Or need to. Need okay. to. A ver, you. You don't. don't you don't. don't you don't. Don't have to. Have to have or. You don't. Don't need to. Don't need need to. to. Okay. Very good. Andala, solo voy a escribir aquí abajo para que no se ponga todo. A ver, my, my friend, father doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have to. Ya, yeah. ¿y cuántos, de, cuántos papás estoy hablando? One. One. All right, so digo, my father uh, doesn't, my father doesn't have to. Have to, o digo, doesn't need to. Excellent. Oops. Need to. El okay. Yeah. <laughs> Qué malo. Very good. Yes, the internet. Right. Very good. Okay. Do you guys este, understand? Este, este, es, este es un caso similar, ¿verdad? De sí. children, porque en el caso de, de, yo digo, my father, este, el, el, el tipo de decir es mío, mío. Claro. Pero no estoy hablando de mí, estoy hablando de él. Exacto. El mismo, el mismo caso de her children. De los children. Uh -huh. sus, estamos hablando de, eh, el adjetivo positivo dice sus, de ella. Exacto. Pero estamos refiriéndonos a los niños. Es Exactamente. Claro. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ahora, en el caso que usted se crió con dos papás, uno de crianza y uno biológico, se dice my fathers. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ya es plural. All Exacto. right. Yeah. Very good. Ok, vamos con la otra. Solo voy a borrar. No sé si lograron copiar o revisar ya. Yeah. Yes. Sí, All right, okay. A ver. Okay, guys, wait. So I'm going to move the other one. Ya casi vamos a tomar la asistencia, I'm sorry. Today is a holiday. Vamos a hacer la misma dinámica porque yo sé que muchos lo hicieron al revés, pero no hay problema. Today is a holiday. I? I don't, don't, need, I don't need to. I don't need to. O si lo hizo con have to. 
I don't have to. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasa en esta? Lleva a do antes. Das. Do. Lleva qué? Das. Do. Das. Lleva das. Das your sister. Das your sister. Ajá, ¿qué? Ah, yes. Das era. Need to. Go to the school too. <laughs> Need to, o si ocupo have to, no importa, ¿ok? Pero así. No es has, porque lleva el das. All right. My mother, number three. My mother. Needs. Needs. Needs to. Needs to or has Needs. to. Si lo puso con has. Has to. All right. What about number four? I need to, need to study for the grammar. I need or, to study. I need to or I have to. Very good. Number five, do they? Do they have do they to? Need to? Do they need to or do they have Oops, have to? Y aquí la respuesta sería? Uh, yes, they do or, or yes, they need. Yes, they, they need, need to. to. They need to. Yeah. yeah. Si la, la dejas, la puede dejar así. Yes, they, yes, they do. Yes, uh -huh. they have to. Yes, they need to. Yes, Independientemente yes. cuál usó. Pero el tú tiene que ir en ambos. O have to or need to. Yes. And what about, I know Patrick, ¿verdad? Patrick, drive uh -huh. to the store. He can take the bus. Patrick, has to or need drive to. to the store. Pero mire el contexto de la oración. It's negative. It's negative. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Patrick doesn't have to drive to the store. He can take the bus. Lo voy a escribir aquí porque no me cabe ahí. Patrick, eh, nos vamos por contexto. All right. Doesn't eh, need to or... Oops. Or doesn't have to. Okay. What about number seven? Anne. Needs to. Anne need to. Is you saw el otro? Si you saw el have or has, ¿cuál usó? Has. Has. Yeah, very good. Okay, excuse me. I don't have. I don't have to. Uh uh. Need need to or have has to. I need to or I have to. Disculpe, necesito contestar mi teléfono o tengo que contestar mi teléfono. All right. Number nine. Teacher, yo pensé que era negativa. No porque le excuse me le excuse me él y le da la pauta que le digo yo. Disculpe. Es como que estemos hablando y de repente me suena el teléfono y le digo, disculpe, Eli, voy a, necesito contestar el teléfono. Uh -huh. Do you need to? Yeah. Do you... Um, uy, aquí. Or need to do or do you have to, right? Very good. And the last one, my friend. ¿Cuántos amigos o amigas? One. One. Excellent. One. My friend. Have need to. to needs to needs. and has to. to. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces revisa si le tuvo que haber quedado más o menos. Independientemente haya usado have to or need to or don't have to or doesn't need to, como sea. Uh -huh. Esta salió mal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. Yo me, tuve salir, me tuve que salir porque me estaban llamando. Una consulta. Yeah. Ahí ha puesto usted opciones. Eh, my friend has to y, y también need to. Eh, yeah. se puede, cual, de la, cualquiera de los dos se puede poner en la oración. Sí, de, lo que pasa es que va a depender del contexto de lo que usted quiere decir. Si usted quiere decir, uh -huh. mi amiga o mi amigo tiene que tomar un examen de manejo mañana en la tarde o necesita tomar un examen de manejo. 
All right. Entonces depende más de la idea que usted quiere eh, transmitir, ¿verdad? Si es un sentido de obligación, usamos has to. If it's more like a necessity, you need needs to. Ah, uh, necesidad. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo no tengo claro este realmente la regla en, en qué momento tengo que usar el needs o, o sea agregarle la s o en qué ocasión solamente dejar los needs sin s ah con tercera persona singular Alex solo con tercera persona singular solo es como un presente simple Alex es lo mismo que una oración en afirmativo presente simple para él ella y esto le agrega s en afirmativo Alex el, el, este, ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok. More questions? Any other questions, guys? No? Ok. All right. Ok. I'm going to take attendance right now. Igual hoy nos toca, eh, de hecho, vamos a seguir con esto del need to y el have to, ¿verdad? Porque ya mañana nos toca repaso. Este casi que era el último tema de la unidad 2. All right. So, estamos como... Bien, all right. A ver, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Present. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Eh, por Escobar, sorry, Escobar. Eh, Dinora Alejandra Alparo Corea. Present teacher. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Okay. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. I am here. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. I'm here. José Galileo Barrera Enrique Hernández. Present. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. All right, Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Norma Lizer Quintana Mancía. Present. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. All right. Uh, ah, Carlita Marisol Escobar Arbaiza, she's here. And uh, Ana Ada Karina Cruz García. Present teacher. Ana Karin Solís López. Present teacher. Excellent. All right. Let's see Carlita Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Por ahí la vi que entró. All right. Oh, another baby. We're full of babies in this class. They're very good. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's continue here, guys. We're going to go back to... Vamos a regresar un ratito al manual. Solo quiero, quiero ver una, uh, algo ahí. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. Wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second, guys, there. Okay. Here we have this. I just want to show you this right now. Okay. Okay. So here we're talking about, guys, we're talking about need to and have to. ¿Leímos esta conversación ayer o esta no leímos? Creo que no. No? No. No, I don't think so. All right, very good. Yeah, okay, yeah, we didn't do that one. Okay, so todo esto del need to y el have to nos llevó por esto que está acá en el manual, obviamente, el manual. 
So here we say express obligations or needs at the workplace, okay? So we have two um, people talking, Anne and John. Number one, it says, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting, okay? So in the conversation, they are using need to and have to, okay? So I need, or you need to, uh, what you need to do tomorrow, need to call, have to reschedule, have to provide, okay? So they are using this um, need to and have to, okay? Now, let me see here. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about the conversation? Yeah, uh, re, re, reschedule. Uh, reschedule. Uh, schedule. Mm -hmm. Reschedule. Es agenda, reschedule. pero schedule es agenda y reschedule qué es? Es como es, es como reprogramar. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything Thank else you. about the conversation? Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Ah, uh, Luis Manuel, can you be John? And let me see here. Uh, Dinora, can you be on, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, right now? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, is there something you do? Uh, you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to schedule... Uh, two meetings for tomorrow. Uh, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to something customer. That sounds interesting. Excellent, thank you. All right, very good. Galileo, can you read? Can you be John? And um, Olga, can you be Anne, please? It's, uh... And is, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were oh. canceled today. Oh, thanks to that. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Very good, thank you. All right, very nice. All right, guys, so here, as you notice, we're using need to, have to, ¿verdad? Después del need to, sigue un verbo siempre. Need to go, need to do, need to speak, need to sleep, need to eat, whatever, or have to have to go, have to study, have to drink, have to phone, have to watch, whatever the information is. Remember, what is the difference between have to and need to? Is have to is an obligation and need to is a necessity. All right, that is the big difference. Recordemos que hablamos de estos dos eh, formas de expresar eh, obligación o necesidad Siempre en todo el enfoque del presente simple. Por lo tanto, yo voy a decir, Gonzalo needs to, all right, finish the project. Or I'll say, I don't know, Marina needs to come to the office or whatever, all right. Siempre eh, respetando la regla de la per tercera persona singular en afirmativo. All right, that's why I need needs to or has to if it's affirmative, okay? Let's see here then. It says, how to use have to and need to? 
verbs to express obligation or needs, okay? So have to, acuérdese que si usted tiene ahí el librito a la par, póngale obligation and need to necessity. Eso expresa cada uno, all right? Usted puede decir, I have to prepare a document for my boss because it's an obligation or you say, I need to prepare a document for my boss because it's a necessity, all right? That is the big difference there. Okay, guys, you understand? Guys, 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 sorry. Yes. Yeah, all right, very yeah. good. Excellent. Let me see something here for you here. Okay. Let's do this right now, guys. We're going to take, I'm going to show you this right now on the, always on your book. Ok, y eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Vamos a hacer esta práctica y espero que me alcance el tiempo para la otra. Eh, we're going to work on this, ok. Write about something you have to do or need to do, ok. De hecho lo vamos a hacer... No, ¿sabe qué? Vamos a hacer algo antes de esto, antes de llenar este cuadrito, ok. This is what we're going to do. I want you to think. Okay, two activities that you have to do in your job, not in your house, not in your class, at your job, okay, at the workplace. Two activities that you have to do. Piense, de repente piense que tengo que hacer mañana o la otra semana. All right, have to, two activities. And I want you to think about two activities that you need to do. Very different. Two that you have to and two that you need to. Ubíquese desde mañana hasta el otro viernes, digamos, de una semana para acá. All right? Two, have to, two, need to. Escríbanlo ahorita, a ver, nos, nos quedamos aquí. Escriban sus oraciones right now. All right, finish with your sentences. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Alilia. Jessica, me, me sacó el, el internet que iban a hacer. Ah, all right, ahorita, Eli, estamos hablando, o escriba, necesito que escriban two activities, Eli, that you have to do in your office and two activities that you need to do in your office very different okay yes all right so write it on your notebook uh-huh yes okay thank you 
Carlos Alfredo, you finished? Your sentences? Yes. All right, thank yes. you. Thank you. William, finished? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, very nice. Alex, finished? Yes, teacher. Very good. Anna, Annie, Solis, you finished? Hi, teacher. Perdón, teacher, pero me cuesta responderle por mi teléfono hoy porque estoy viendo como se me desconfigura el WhatsApp que lo tengo en la comp y el, lo, me he conectado así. Que pasa que el teléfono se me cayó en, la, en el barril de agua y no veo nada. O sea, me cuesta estar ahí, pero es que casi que se me saca, me meto. Ay, Ani. Ok, ok, thank you. All right, don't worry about it, Ani. Okay, let's see. Um, Galileo, you were the first one to finish pretty much. Can you tell me what you have to do at your job? Yes, your sure. mm -hmm. Number one, I have to do a report to my boss. Okay. And number two, I have to do a request to PA Cool Service International. Okay, PA what about Service is the warehouse. Oh, okay, very good. What about need to? Uh, number one, I need to check local purchase. All right. Uh, I need to speak uh, with production area manager. Oh, is she not? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, okay. She is, she is in portation. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just uh, I need to talk with uh, Gustavo. He is a production area manager. All right, I get it. All right, very good. Gonzalo, thank you. Gonzalo, have, what do you have to do and what do you need to do? Okay. I have to do clean my computer tomorrow. You have to clean your computer tomorrow, okay. Yes. I have to do, send my emails. You have to send your emails, all right? Eh, okay. Gonzalo, después de have to, va el verbo de la acción que usted quiere eh, comentar, ¿verdad? Entonces, I have to send, okay? Ah, okay, thank all right. you. All right, very good. Okay, what about need to, um, Gonzalo? I need to speak with my boss tomorrow. Excellent, very good. I need to change my schedule. You need to change your schedule. Perfect. Okay. No le voy a seguir preguntando because I want you to work in your groups with this information. Okay. And this is what we're going to do. Eh, with your sentences of have to and need to. Cuando yo entre, o oh, cuando usted entre, este, entren a sus grupos. All right. For example, I'm working with Edwin. Okay. So I, my, my question is, Edwin, what do you, la primera es have to. What do you have to do? All right. Edwin me va a decir, por decirle algo, I have to check my email. All right. Y entonces usted le va a seguir uh, preguntando con esto. A ver, refiriéndonos al cuadrito de aquí. Okay. Y él ya le dijo, I have to check my email. All right. Your second question is, ya con la información que le acaba de dar, le va a decir, when do you have to check your email? All right. Y él puede contestar, I have to check my email um, in the morning. You say, let's say, what time in the morning? At 9 a.m. All right. Where do you have to check your email? On my computer. All right. Entonces, después, la primera pregunta es, what do you have to do? La que sigue es, when? Then is what time and then is where. Y lo mismo va a ser para las cuatro, las dos de have to y las dos de need to. Obviamente la pregunta de need to es what do you need to do? ¿Ok? Y usted le dice, I need to speak to my boss. When do you need to speak to your boss? Tomorrow or next week. What time? Ah, uh, two o'clock. All right. 
Obviamente se va a inventar la información. No hay problema. The idea is for you to practice the information. ¿Ok? Cuando hablamos de when, acuérdese que hablamos de tiempo. In, on. ¿Verdad? In or on. Depende si usted va a decir in the morning o va a decir on Saturday. Si va a decir at, por what time. ¿Ok? Hay que poner en práctica eso que se ha aprendido anteriormente. All right. Ok, guys, we understand. Ya, yeah? ok. Vamos yeah. tratando de ir contestando yeah. como, como se debe. Obviamente nos va a costar un poquito algunos, but that's ok. All right. Karina, Carla, Judith, Elmer,
Monday, okay? Uh, what time? time? Ah, at 9, 9 a.m. 9 a.m., okay. Uh -huh. 9 o'clock. Uh, where? In, in the, my boss office. In my boss office. Boss office. Boss office. Se, sería escribir in your boss office. In his. His. Boss office. Mm -hmm. In his. Yeah. Boss office. Mm -hmm. Porque es su, ¿verdad? Ah, que es su. No. Vos estás hablando de mí. Uh -huh. En el caso de una respuesta. Ok. Ok. The other uh -huh. question. Go what do you what do you need to do? Okay, I need to check local culture. Okay, check OP order food. Okay. Okay. When? Uh, Saturday more Saturday. Saturday, what time? Uh, 11 a.m. Yeah, 11 a.m. Where? In my warehouse in Pico. In my warehouse. Warehouse en la bodega. Oh, cierto. Se escribe warehouse oh, unido. Warehouse. Uh -huh. Okay, in your warehouse. My warehouse. Okay, what do you need to do? Uh, I need to stick with production area manager. Stay. Uh, I need to speak. Speak, hablar. I uh, speak. Uh -huh. I need to speak with production area manager. Okay, when? Uh, next Wednesday. Ah, ah Wednesday. when? Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday. What time? Uh, I have 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yeah. Where? In my office. In your office. Okay. Ok, hoy te pregunto yo a vos. Ok, sí, dale. What do you have to do? I have to mirar un. Yeah, mirar un. Fíjate que yo solo puse, I have to mirar un in the morning, pero no dice el día. Pero no entiendo, mirar un. No entiendo. Mirar un de la reunión. Ah, mirar. Meeting, meeting. He has to. Pero en ese caso, Carlito, sería I have to meet. O porque dice, si, si usted dice I have a meeting, es diferente el contexto. Decir I have a meeting es tengo una reunión. Pero decir have to meet es me tengo que reunir. ¿Me entiende, eh, Carlos? No, 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 no me quedó claro, perdón. Yo okay. puse I have to. Meet in the morning. Okay, I have to meet in the morning. Meet, M E E T. Meet. meet. Okay. Uh -huh. Only, porque, only, only. Only meet, Carlitos, porque si pone meeting, eso es reunión. Como nombre, okay. una reunión. Pero sí. reunirse, que es verbo, es meet nada más. Meet, okay. Thank you. Pero podríamos decir, teacher, yo tengo una reunión. I have a, a meeting. Yeah, pero ya no es el mismo contexto de have to, eh, Galileo. Ya sería I need. No, lo que pasa es que si yo solo digo I have a meeting, es yo tengo yeah. una reunión. La otra es sí, yo es tengo que ir a una reunión. Es una obligación para mm. mí ir. Mm. Es como que si yo le digo, por ejemplo, um, I have a cell phone. Pero ahí no estoy diciendo que es una obligación nada del teléfono. I have a cell phone. Tengo un celular. 
¿Sí? Pero entonces, entonces en este caso, la estructura mm -hmm. podría ser I have to go to a meeting. Yes. ¿verdad? O también podría Pero, ser I have to meet with my boss. Me tengo que reunir ajá. con mi jefe. Exactamente. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Y, 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 okay. y your yeah. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo otra respuesta, por ejemplo, la, la siguiente, pero yo contesto. I have to check my emails. Uh -huh. Está bien. Perfecta. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Sí, porque usted dice, que tengo que revisar mis correos. Sí. Ok. So, so, okay. So, 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 de, 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 de la reunión, sí, no me quedó muy claro realmente. Ahorita, ¿Por qué no? Le a ver, ahorita le explico. Uh, le voy a dejar de compartir yo. Voy a compartir yo, eh, Galileo. Voy, voy a detener, sí. Uh -huh. Ahí está, ya. Ok, a ver. Voy a hacer esto a un ladito para poder escribir. Ok. A ver, yo puedo decir, eh, Carlos, yo puedo decir, I have a meeting. I have a meeting. Si yo solo digo I have a meeting es yo tengo una reunión. ¿Sí? Pero okay. otra cosa muy diferente es decir I have to meet with my boss. El have, acuérdese que have solito sin el tú quiere decir tener. Yo tengo un tres hijos, yo tengo un carro, tengo una casa, tengo un trabajo, tengo novio, tengo uh, piso. Es, es, es en right. el pleno sentido de tener, de sí, manera exacto, general. De, exacto, de tenencia de algo, ¿verdad? Mm. Ahora, si yo al, al have le ve, vengo y le agrego el tú, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, all right, entonces eso, esa expresión have to se vuelve una obligación. Yo debo reunirme con mi jefe. ¿Ok? I have to meet with my boss. Si yo le quito a la segunda oración, Carlos, le quito tú y solo digo, I have meet with my boss, no tiene ningún sentido. Porque acá, si usted se fija, meet es un verbo. ¿Ya? Sí, sí, correcto. Yo digo, I have to go, I have to play, I have to dance, son verbos. Pero si yo digo, I have a meeting, esto es un sustantivo, es un nombre. Es como que yo le diga, I have a, a baby. Baby no es un verbo. Sí, correcto. No, no es verbo. I have a car. Car no es un verbo. Pero yo le digo, I have to. Oops. I have to drive my car, es otra cosa. Yo tengo que manejar mi carro. Pero después del have to, me sigue un verbo, no un sustantivo o un nombre. Ok. ¿Eh? Sí. Lo que pasa en el meeting y meet son bien parecidos, ¿verdad? Meeting es el nombre de la reunión, una reunión. Meet es me reúno con mi jefe. El, ver, el, el, el verbo. Ajá, de verbo, reunir. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay, en, la, en la estructura de have to, le debe seguir un verbo. Un verbo así, meet, play, dance, sleep, whatever, ¿verdad? Sin ing. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Me lo echo a la bolsa, gracias por explicarme. Entonces, uh, en la primera era... What do you... I, I, ha I have, have to meet in the morning. He has to meet. Uh, pero. Uh, o oh, oh, puede ser solo I have uh, to meet. Uh, uh, with his boss, como decía la teacher. Ok. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one, what do you have to do? Uh, I have to check my emails. He has to check. His email. Okay. Uh, now we need to. Number one. What do you need to do? 
I need to study for the test. Ahí está lo que dice la teacher, hay un verbo, study. I need to, es un caso similar. I need to study for, uh, for the test. Medium test. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you need to do in the second one? I need to clean my de desk. Very good. I need to, I'm sorry, repeat. Clean, clean my desk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is this. Okay, I got it. Thank you. It's, it's, a, little, it's, it's a little messy. The desk. <laughs> no, 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 solo por ejemplo. Of course, claro. Oh, claro, claro. claro. <laughs> All right, dejo de compartir aquí y nos regresamos, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Super, thank you guys, well done. Thank you. Ok, guys. Where we uh, did you finish everything? Yes. Yeah. Did you participate? Yes. Yeah, a little. Yeah, a little. Uh, All right. So so. So so. so. <laughs> All right. A so, ver, so. Hoy va a practicar aquí, güey, so, so. con todo, güey. Ay, teacher, usted se me fue el inter, teacher. De verdad, William. <laughs> That's an excuse, William. Uh-huh. <laughs> Excuses. Ask me. Ask me okay, question. very good. William, what do you have to do? Tell me one activity. What do you have to do, William? Okay. I had to clear my desk. <laughs> Igual que Carlos Alfredo. All right. Serio. Uh-huh. It's gone. Okay. 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 You have to clear your desk. When? And Today. Today. All right. What time? Eight o'clock. At, oh, at eight o'clock. eight o'clock. Very good. Where? In my work. In your work. All right. Very good. Thank you. Ana, you did por tío. Tell me one activity you need to do. I need to take a nap right now. <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> right now. What time? Today at 10 p.m. At 10, oh my goodness, okay, almost, almost. Where? In my bed. In your bed, excellent, very good. Alex, Altaña. All right, tell me one activity you have to do. Bueno, y Luis, ¿qué se hizo, Luis Alfonso? Aha, Alex, tell me one activity you have to do. I have to make maintain his um, medical equipment. Okay, when? Next week. Oh, okay. At 10 uh -huh. o'clock a.m. Oh, very good. Where? Instituto contra el cáncer. Ah, interesting. Very nice. Dinora. Thank you, Alex. Tell me one activity you need to do, Dinora. You're welcome. I need to... I need to check some documents. Okay, when? On Monday. What time? At 10 a.m. All right, where? On my computer. Okay, perfect, very good. All right, guys, very nice. Okay, so uh, tomorrow, remember that we have the review? Every Friday we have the review for the whole week, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna keep on practicing with have to, need to, incluyendo todo lo demás, okay? So I do hope that you can finish exercise or homework number nine tonight. Acuérdese que este, eh, esta semana nos toca también el examen. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take attendance. A ver, Edwin, can you stay for a little bit, Edwin? Yeah? ¿Se puede quedar un ratito, Edwin? Yes. Yes, very good. Y mañana le yes. toca el versito. All right. All right, thank you. Okay. Eh, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ana, yes, Ana Beatriz night. Portillo Bautista. Present. Ana, you... Uh, <laughs> me dije. 
Y, y Beatriz me contesta, I'm sorry. A ver, a ver, Beatriz, otra vez. Ana, oh, Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo, perdone, Beatriz. ¿Tres? Es Thursday, ¿ok? Ana y Diego 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 Present teacher. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. Here I am. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Eh, Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. All right. Um, Norma Lizeth Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Thank you. William Mauricio González García. I'm here to choose. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enriquez. Uh, Ada Karina Cruz Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Karin Solis Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Solo se me queda Edwin Balmore un ratito. Los demás se pueden desconectar. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Please. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night my friends. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. you. Uh, good night. Good night. Dinora, go sleep. <laughs> All right, very <laughs> She's always sleeping. All right, let's see Edwin Valmore. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. You? you don't have to. I'm great. Thank you. You don't, you don't have to work today, Edwin? You didn't? You didn't go to work? Yeah, in the morning. In the morning. Ah, oh, all right. Very good. So you're not, I mean, yeah. you're not working at night right now? No está de noche ahorita, ¿no? Acaba de estar. Next, the, no, the ne next week. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, very good. A ver, Edwin, cuénteme. Is there anything that you need me to help you with or explain to you again? Ya sea de lo que se ha visto hasta ahorita or anything that you want me to help you with. Mm, no, Algo. No tengo mucha duda con, con lo que hemos visto estos días. Ok, ¿le ha quedado claro, Edwin? Sí. Yeah. sí. Pero lo que tengo problemas para, para, la, para la lectura estoy algo esté bien, por lo que me cuesta es un poco entender okay. cuando a la hora de, de una conversación. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eso es lo que okay. me cuesta un poco. Uh -huh. Que es normal, Edwin. All right, porque eso es un, todo sí. un proceso, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, uh -huh. yeah, you're doing fine, Edwin. De hecho, eh, yo puedo notar la diferencia, Edwin, of like how you, like how you speak now, how you respond. All right, entonces sí se va viendo así un, un, un progreso. Very nice, yeah. Sí. All right, that's very, very good. Okay. Sí, algunas cosas sí que recuerdo que ya las había, ya las había visto. Claro, sí. Okay. Sí, de hecho, eh, este módulo, como todavía se ve presente, presente, eh, se va, se, vamos, de hecho, vamos a terminar viendo un poquito sobre el futuro, ¿verdad? Usando el going to. Entonces, eso es como que les da una base. Y en el siguiente módulo se ve el pasado. Entonces, lo cual es como bien porque vamos, se cubre eh, presente, un poquito el futuro y el pasado en esos tres módulos para ya como irlo preparando para, para seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Pero sí, por eso es como bien importante el presente simple, Edwin, porque es como una, es, es la base, 
¿verdad? Usted tiene que manejar, todos tenemos que manejar el presente simple para poder como avanzar sin mucha dificultad. All right. Very good. Y ahorita no, en lo que estamos, en la actividad que estamos haciendo grupo a la hora, en lo que tuve un poco de inconveniente fue la, con las preguntas. Para, para ¿Y las preguntas ya ahorita del final? No. No, no, no. La, en la, si era tú o era das. Eh, cuando puse todo el, eh, y que escribí ambas opciones, no. Sí. Ah, ok. All right. ¿Y cuáles le costaron, Edwin? En la que dice, that your sister need Ajá. to go to the school today. Ok. ¿Y esa ah, la había puesto con tú? Yeah. Ajá. All right. Sí, ahí Edwin, tenemos que fijarnos, es lo que decíamos, ¿verdad? Tenemos mm -hmm. que fijarnos cuán, de, mm, si estamos hablando del sustantivo en singular o del nombre o del objeto en singular o en plural. Yo le puedo decir, por ejemplo, my baby, it's one, es singular, o le digo my babies, y maybe tengo dos o cinco, ¿verdad? Babies, entonces no importa el my, ese no nos da problema. Por lo general nos da problema cuando vemos your, your baby, porque como la mente nos juega que estamos hablando de you, ¿Verdad? Y es muy diferente el you al your. El you es el, el sujeto y your es el adjetivo posesivo. Por lo tanto, yo poseo algo. ¿Ok? A baby, one baby, your baby. Yo le digo a ah, su hijo, su hija o su bebé, ¿verdad? Your baby. ¿Ok? Ahí sería singular y no me guío por el your, me guío por el baby. ¿Ok? Entonces, si yo tengo your babies, el your no cambia, para singular o plural es igual. Pero lo que cambió fue el baby, cambió a babies. Entonces, cuando yo veo plural, digo, ah, ok. Entonces, estamos hablando de dos bebés o tres bebés. Entonces, me concentro en eso, no en el your. ¿Verdad? Entonces, depende del baby para yo poder decir do or does. Si dice does your, I mean, your baby sería does. Does your baby need to o have to, verdad? Or veo babies, veo plural y digo do. ¿Por qué? Porque baby se convierte en they, verdad? Igual que sister. Yo creo que decía does your sister. Creo que era una la que me acaba de comentar, verdad? Sí. Ajá. Entonces sister. sister solo es una. Si usted tuviera tres hermanas, okay. dijera do your sisters. Sí. Que yo ahí no solo le estaba agregando el do, porque le estaba agregando do you and your sister. Ah, pero eso es diferente. No sé si así estaba bien. Eh, lo que pasa es que era como, eh, sí está Ajá. bien, pero le cambia todo el sentido, ¿verdad? Porque ya le agrega otra persona. Sí, pero está perfecta porque si yo le digo do you and your sister, entonces se vuelven ustedes. Pero yo le digo usted y Así su hermana. Entonces ahí se vuelve plural. All right. Ahí sí. Pero, pero porque le agregó no. otra persona a la oración. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, yo así la, yo así la estaba ah, haciendo. Do okay. you and your sister. Ok, sí, ahí sí queda do uh -huh. you and your sister. All right. Aunque solo tengo una hermana, pero como lo agregué a usted dentro de mi pregunta, los uno ya se vuelven they. ¿Verdad? Entonces ya se vuelve sí. plural. Ajá. Very good. Sí, ahí sí queda. Ah, pues sí. Yeah, excellent. Very good. No, no Very sabe tan mal. No, y eso está como más complejo, ¿sabe? Ok, es más, si lo hubiera mencionado sí. en clase, se pierden. All right, porque no, sí, es, lo... es como más difícil entender el hecho de que ya agregué otra persona. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. Súper. Very good. Sí. Yeah, nice. Yo cuando, cuando escuché que respondieron el, el DAS, Mejor lo, lo borré y le, le puse el 2. <risa> sí, claro. O sea, si lo hubiéramos dejado así como tal estaba, sí corresponde el das, ¿verdad? Das your sister. Pero en el caso que usted cambió y le agregó a alguien más, entonces sí está bien poner do you and your sister. Eso está perfecto. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Super. 
Yeah, very nice. Sí, Excellent. Tengo que practicar un poco más. Yeah, claro. Very good. Okay, very good. All right, Edwin, thank you so much for being with me. All right, lo dejo ir a descansar. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Edwin. Good night. Bye. Good night. Rest. Bye now. Bye.